This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items for other various TF2 items. Any money that will be left over in one of your trades that you overpaid by gets added to your wallet which you can then use in future trades. They also hold pretty regular giveaways so the link to Manco.Trade will be down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today, this is going to be another episode in the Patreon loadout series. If you're not familiar with what this series is, essentially one of my Patreon rewards is that you get to show off some of your loadouts and the idea is you guys may see some cosmetic combinations that you haven't seen before and may even inspire you to build loadouts for yourself, like take an inspiration from these. There's loadouts ranging in price, ranging in type, ranging in class, so, so maybe you guys may be able to take something from this. Um, I've got a ton of loadouts to get through today because I haven't done one of these in a while. Just before we start, I figured I may as well say it in this video as I've said it on my Twitter and in my Discord, but essentially I'm going to be streaming on Twitch a lot more. I very recently made a twitch and started streaming my first stream was last night i'm going to be streaming very consistently and doing giveaways and stuff like that so make sure to go and check that out and hit follow if you want to keep up to date with whenever i'm streaming now i'm going to be doing a ton of fun tf2 stuff so yeah the link to that will be down below and without further ado let's get into the first loadout of the video so this first loadout is Dan the Jew's Pyro loadout, and this loadout is absolutely insane. Some of you may recognise the name Dan the Jew purely for the fact that he is indeed in the top 100 backpacks on Backpack.tf. If you look at the top inventories list, he's actually number 55 in the top TF2 backpacks, which is absolutely insane. This loadout consists of a Sunbeams Killer exclusive, which is strange, a strange last breath, and a strange Sub-Zero suit. Straight away, the Sub-Zero suit last breath combo amazing I can't think of any reason that I'd think this is amazing definitely not because I use it but nah seriously I think the killer exclusive with the last breath is a combo I don't see used too often but the way it like sits on top and like is upwards so you can see the top of the skull is actually pretty nice obviously sunbeams is an absolutely crazy effect he's got the pyro joe notifications as well as you guys all should and yeah this is just a very very sick loadout and also from Dan the Jew is this sniper loadout consisting of his other unusual and this is Gotta be up there for my favourite unusuals. He's got a Burning Flames head prize, along with a Strange Chronomancer and the Strange Triggerman's Tacticals. The Burning Head Prize is insane, man. All class hat, assassin grade, and incredibly rare. Like, I'm pretty sure he paid a golden pan for this thing. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure he paid a golden pan. So absolutely crazy loadout there. Um, the Triggerman Tacticals and the Chronomancer go super well together. I'm not sure if they were made to go together, but it definitely looks like it. They go really, really well, and it just does look really nice. This third loadout belongs to ND Bros, and it consists of a Sunbeams Powder Practitioner, we're seeing a lot of Sunbeams now, along with the Cold Snap Coat and the Cold Front Curb Stompers. I've never really seen the Curb Stompers on the Cold Snap Coat and, like, actually notice them, but the way the gloves, like, come out of the white cuffs on the Cold Snap Coat looks really nice. And, I don't know, there's something about, like, the white, like almost judge looking wig underneath the powder practitioner and the cold snap coat just goes really well together i'm pretty sure the powder practitioner was a winter hat so that might explain it but either way all of these cosmetics just do go really well together a very nice winter themed loadout up next we have Foxy Boy's Scout loadout and I've actually got a video coming out with Foxy Boy tomorrow or the day after where he actually speaks about this but he's got a strange tundra top with the effect of dark doorway along with a jungle jersey and earbuds Dude, the amount of Blue Moon crates I unboxed around the Halloween period trying to get that exact unusual with Galactic Gateway, which is a very similar effect, is absurd. Like, that is a crazy unbox. Foxy Boy actually unboxed this unusual himself. It's one of two and the only strange one in existence, which is absolutely insane. I don't think you're going to be able to unbox these effects again for the foreseeable future, so it's probably going to stay one of one. An absolutely crazy all-class unusual there. And the Jungle Jersey is really nice. I never really see it used. But... Um, the way it looks with the earbuds as well, like the, you can actually notice the earbuds because they contrast. It looks quite nice, but yeah, the main piece of this loadout is of course that Tundra top, and boy does it look amazing. So up next is Moist's Sniper loadout, and this is actually a Terminator Sniper, he called it. And I really, really like how this looks, so he's used the Deep Cover Operator. This is paired with the Halloween cosmetic, the Cranial Conspiracy Painted Grey, and the Dead of Night. And I think this is super creative to have used that grey paint on the Cranial Conspiracy to give 
give this like metal eye look. I mean, it literally does look exactly like Terminator. I think that's really sick and I never ever see that cosmetic used and the way the deep cover operator like covers the top half so you, it literally just looks like a metal like eye region is super nice. And yeah, the deep cover operator and Dead of Night are two really nice cosmetics. Up next we have Not Aliasing's Medic. This loadout combines a green energy blighted beak with a omniscient orb tundra top. What is it with everyone getting these crazy tundra tops, man? What a great unusual that is. That is, of course, combined with a strange scourge of the sky, which is one of my favorite medic body cosmetics. The way the tundra top sits on the beak as well, where it just like covers that top region, looks really cool. And the omniscient orb goes with green energy amazingly. Like I, I was kind of thinking to myself, what would omniscient orb combo with? And like the green hands on that purple orb slightly above the green energy looks absolutely amazing i think that is one of the best possible unusual effects to combo it with really really nice combo there up next we have professor suck soldier loadout which consists of a clairvoyance vampire vanquisher a white painted veterans attire and a white painted bristle crisis obviously the vampire vanquisher is painted white as well I think that looks great. I think the way the the hair of the vampire vanquisher like goes into the Cuban bristle, it it looks like one whole cosmetic basically, and the fact it's all painted white as well, and the white paint on that veteran's attire looks amazing. I think I'm pretty sure I've spoke about this before, but the way it like runs down the sides and like down the seams of the coat looks really really nice and really does pop. It really does stand out. Of course, clairvoyance as well. I there's so many nice unusual effects in that last Halloween update, and clairvoyance has got to be up there for me. So we. Have have two more loadouts left and this next one is Pekno's spy loadout. This one is super simple. It consists of a Hong Kong cone and no mercy and the rogue's robe. I love how the cone and the no mercy work together. Like the way because the way the Hong Kong cone sits on the head, it covers the top half of the, the head. It just makes that No Mercy look extra mischievous. And the Rogue's Robe as well is just a really solid spy cosmetic. Like, this is just a really nice and clean loadout. All the cosmetics work perfectly together. The Rogue and the Hong Kong cone, what a combination. And finally, guys, we have Moist's Triple Circling Heart loadout. It consists of the Antlers, the Pyromancer's Mask, and the Prancer's Pride. So we've got a lot of horns coming up. We've got the two horns of the mask, the Antler horns, and that Prancer's Pride on top. I think the way he's layered the triple circling hearts to where they're all on top of each other and they all kind of like go around at the same time looks absolutely amazing in game and of course it's worth noting that he has a fountain of delight bunny hopper as well but guys that's just about it for this video if you did enjoy please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below and if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content do be sure to subscribe thanks again so much for watching guys and peace I keep coming back cause I can't come by myself I can't